Alright guys, KK Kyle here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your laptop or computer as a media server for your PlayStation 3 console. First things first, we need to make sure that both are switched on and are both connected to the same router. So, provided you've got internet access and your router is connected up and everything's connected to it, I'm going to assume that it all is. Once you're on your XMB, I want you to hold the left directional button which will take you all the way back to users I want you to press right once and it will take you to the settings tab and then just hold down you'll go right at the very bottom icon it will be network settings so I'm going to press X on that and right at the very bottom of this list is media server connection press X on it and make sure it's enabled and that's pretty much it for the PlayStation 3 part now for the, the other bit Windows Media Player this is what we need so we're just going to open this up I don't really use it a lot so I've got to find it in my list now you've got Windows Media Player what we want to do is we want to find the library tab at the top and the little arrow underneath it just click now what we want to do is we want to click add to library which will add whatever you want to your Windows Media Player library. I've selected add and basically just choose the different folders that you want to add. I've added um, pictures, music and videos basically because that's all I can use on my PlayStation 3. So once you've got those three in your list <coughs> you want to just click OK on the bottom which is fine. It'll then add the files to the list once it's done just click close we'll go back to the little icon at the top of the little down arrow press on that again and we want to go to media sharing now you'll have this screen pop up now I've got two PlayStation 3's connected to my laptop at the minute streaming you will have um, the other users of this PC which I haven't got which is why it's got an exclamation mark and you'll have your unknown device. Now unknown device is your PlayStation 3 provided that that's the only thing switched on. Now you want to just highlight it and click the allow. Obviously mine's already allowed on both consoles so I can't click allow. Once you've done that you just click OK. Now back to your PlayStation 3 screen. If you go to pictures, video or music, you'll notice that it will have your PC name along with Windows Media Player 11 icon or 10 icon depending on which one you're using and when you click on that it will bring up a list of different things obviously you need to go into the pictures folders for pictures and music for music, video for video and you'll find that all your stuff is pretty much there provided that the PlayStation supports the format that it's in I save all my music in MP3, all my videos in AVI, so pretty much everything on my laptop runs on my PlayStation 3. So that's it, that's how to set up your PC as a media server for your PlayStation 3. Happy streaming.